For Fox Sports, I'm Annabelle Stefan here in Dallas, Texas. Big 12 Media Day is alongside Oklahoma's Trey Miller. Trey, coming out here, one of the representatives for the Sooners, what's the thing you hope people take from today? Um, maybe just getting more, more to know about me, uh, just my kind of personality and some of the interviews and stuff like that. And then just, I mean, learning about their team. This is what this is really just for the fans, and uh, hopefully they just answer some questions that, that, that they want answered, you know? So putting you on the spot right now, what is something about you that fans of the program may not know? Um, I'm not, I'm not as serious as I seem in the uh, interviews. Interviews, you got to gotta tone it back a little bit, you know, but besides that, I like to, li like to have a lot of fun. Well, this will be a fun interview fun. then. Uh, so uh, looking uh, on the field, uh, a fullback, you're a fan favorite, and people are hoping that you get more touches on the ball this year. What has the off season been like for you? Um, it's been really interesting, especially with uh, kind of implementing a new system because of uh, the change of quarterback to more of a uh, mobile quarterback. Um, there are some opportunities for me to possibly touch the ball more and uh, I hope that they do come that way and I just hope to do something good with them in the come. Well, there are thoughts that oh, you could be headed towards more of a run game with a little bit of a question mark um, at the quarterback position. What are your thoughts on if you potentially could see some time at tight end? Um, I, th I think so. I think that's part of uh, just continuing to grow in, the, in my role on, on this team and um, whether it's in the backfield or moving out to the tight end, the coaches are going to put me in the right spot. So. And it, it, through practices, who are some of the younger guys that you've seen really emerge throughout summer workouts? Um, gosh, I think I think it's kind of t I mean it's got to be at the wide receiver position because I think our backfields um, I mean we do have great guys that have done a great job in the backfield that are young but we just have such a stacked backfield right now um, some of the younger guys um, Sterling Shepherds uh, continue to improve and to, to, to really uh, go into more of a starting role than where last year he was more of a, a second guy and a guy that got subbed in but definitely he, he's definitely just done a great job and um, Jalen Saunders, who, I mean, he was a starter, but he's a guy who only played eight, nine games last year. He's definitely uh, continued to come along. So, I mean, I, th I think the, the wide receiver core, you know, losing a few guys have definitely just all came along. With the college football season just over a month away, what are you most looking forward to about taking to the field in week one? How to, you run a tunnel the first time. I mean, I mean, every season is, is the best feeling. So, I mean, I'm really excited to start start the season at home uh, this year. And there are obviously a lot of great games within the Big 12, the big rivalry, uh, OU and Texas. OU is on a win streak right now. How are you thinking that's going to continue this year? Um, I'm, I'm hoping so. Uh, I kind of want to join that uh, one of those groups has been that beat uh, Texas four times in a row. I think it's only one or two classes that have done it, so I'd, I'd love to join that group. Well, it should be an exciting game. Thank you so much for talking with me. Look forward to seeing you hit the field this fall. Make sure to keep it right here at Fox Sports as we continue to bring you the latest on OU football. Alongside Trey Millard, I'm Annabelle Stefan reporting from Dallas.